to mission. Me for TV, a.k.a. me TV, a.k.a. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired when it comes to Philly sports media. And yet, I'm going to talk about the radio stations and the TV stations. There are going to be a number of examples. So for anyone who thinks this is targeted to a certain station, no, it's not. All right. This is all across the board because I have a little message for you guys. All right. You have to understand it is because of you that Philly fans have lost the title of being the most knowledgeable fans in sports. We've lost that now. Yes, we've lost as far as I'm concerned. It is an outright joke. It's almost embarrassing to see what these people, these fans, yeah, fans, have to say online. So we're going to talk about this today. So as you can know, as you can see already, all right, I'm already pissed off. I wasn't even going to do a video till Wednesday, but this has prompted me, once I've seen the previous couple of months of what's have happened, that this is something that needs to be taken care of. The ship needs to be righted, so today I'm going to try and get my Captain Harlock on for this, all right? Now understand, today, which prompted me to do this? 97.5, John Marks came out and said that... Marv Albert is one of the best announcers, that's right, in sports, in, in basketball. Are you serious? And this is exactly how the conversation went down. And in usual event fashion, I responded with facts. And as usual, when people who don't know about sports and have these type of jobs and don't know how to respond, this is what I met with. Whoa, 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 whoa. what? Hold on, let me explain something. It's not okay, just okay. No, it's not okay, all right? And it's one of the dumbest responses I've had today, to be quite honest, all right? I'll put it like this. If Marv Albert is sitting here and calling young men who God knows what they have been in their life or what they have went through to get to the NBA. We're talking personal lives and families and all types of hurdles they probably had to go through, all right? You get there and he calls you garbage? Seriously, garbage? Not only are you disrespecting the players, not only are you disrespecting the league, but you're characterizing them as well. That is a big problem. And to call him one of the best is absolutely asinine as far as I'm concerned. And I will put it like this as well, all right? Because if you want to look at one of the best... And, and was it announcers, analysts, commentators, whatever, then you should be saying Hubie Brown's name, not Marv Albert. And we're not even going to talk about Marv Albert's personal life. We already know about that one, all right? But this goes to show you fans exactly what these people on radio, what these people on TV, it doesn't matter. If you have to make outlandish statements, all right, to get attention, you're trolling. That's what you're doing. You're trolling. And I'll put it like this. If you have to resort to trolling for this to happen, then you've already lost. And if you don't believe me, go ask Skip Bayless. All right? Because if anyone watched ESPN Cold Pizza before Woody Page left, Skip Bayless wasn't like this. No. But now he has turned into a parody. That's what he is. A parody of a journal journalist. All right? That's what he is. Same thing with Stephen A. Smith. And it seems like this mentality, this adopted mentality, is starting to trickle down. So now we got radio station guys acting this way. Now we got guys on TV like Howard Eskin acting this way. I've told you before, this mentality is dangerous. And that trickles down to the fan base. And now, the fan base, because if anyone ever sees Twitter, all right, and you see what these Philly sports fans are saying, it just makes you want to retreat into a hole and act like you're not part of the fan base. It is just sickening. It is. It, I don't understand where this comes from or why it's even allowed. This is what I mean that things need to be changed here, especially when it comes to basketball and the Sixers. When, if anyone, you, all right, with, uh, was it Mike, was it Mike Missanelli and, and, and CEO Adam? Was that it? Yeah, CEO Adam. All it was was, I respect you. I respect blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, I respect you too. But what, what is this? What is this? Seriously, and when a team is doing this bad, and after CEO Adam turns out and then turns around, I should say, and say what his, you know, marketing scheme is, and yes, scheme, all right, towards Philly, yeah, there's a problem. You call him on it. Five minutes. Give me five minutes with the guy and I'll grill him. That's what it comes down to. And it seems like nobody wants that, though. Because, you know, he's going to say, oh, well, I won't come back ever. What's the matter? You can't handle it? You're supposed to be the big bad businessman. You're supposed to be able to handle this. See, this is the problem with... Philly sports media. It's just a bunch of handshaking and, and, you know, back padding. That's what it seems like, all right? And then on top of it, when you have fans who just fall into this stuff, then they start making you look bad. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to explain this, all right? 
We're going to talk about how people who have jobs in these type of fields don't deserve them. It's only there as an illusion. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let's start with this. So now I have to ask the question, what does this have to do with sports? That's why I want to know. Because when I see these pictures on Twitter from other radio stations, many, many radio stations, sports stations, all right, and TV and everything, oh, we're in the studio with, insert name here, with a bunch of women who pretty much have nothing on. Oh, they're representing us. That is a waste of time and money. And I say money because I'm sure those women got paid to come into the studio. But here's the thing. You should know by now that time is money. That's ridiculous. Waste of time, waste of money when you can spend that time on the air talking sports. I mean, this is what we're going to get down to. This is exactly why the Philly sports media fan base has taken a nosedive. And I put it like this, because as we all know, when those women are there, they're not for other women like that. No. And I feel bad for the women who are in sports who actually know about sports because they don't get a fair shake. Because you have these women who pretty much take it all off and leapfrog everyone else. They don't deserve it. They don't. All right? But I will put it like this. Also, you men, you should know they're catering to your demographic. Actually, they're thinking less of you when they do something like this. But you're not thinking that because all you're thinking of is, hey, it's tits. Sports, beer, tits. That's all you're thinking. And I know a lot of you are saying, yeah, yeah, right now. But when you stop and you think about it, it's a problem. It's a big problem. I don't understand how this is going on for so long. There's way too many people out there who are knowledgeable in sports, like I said, who get leapfrogged by women like this. And if you don't believe me, here's another one. Because I didn't know you need to have a babe of the day, 610. Need I say more? Look, I will put it like this. Sports stations, whether TV or radio, I have to keep saying that so that no one gets their little feelings hurt. All right? Understand. When you do stuff like this, you're actually taking steps backwards. That's what you're doing, and you're making us men look very Neanderthalic. You really are. Look, people, now before you ask the question of the event, well, who do you think has the best sports fan base now? I can't say. I can't. All I can do is what's going on here in Philly, all right? That's all I can do. But I guarantee you, every sports fan in your different state, in your different city, different country, no matter where you're from, you also have the same problem as we do here. It's the same adopted mentality. All you have to do is listen to what they're saying and realize this is garbage. That's all you have to realize. Yes, so just like they want to call players garbage, all right, you can call them garbage, all right, for what they do. And here's the difference, all right, because fans can do that, but professionals can't do that. Can't do that, professionals. You should know better, especially if you've never played, you know, the game yourself. That is absolutely wrong. Absolutely. So I'm not trying to hear that. You only have but so much for our perception you can go. But when you want to start making topics just for the casual point of conversation, you need to mean, you know, you need to let that be known. If that's what you're doing, that's fine. But when you say, this is my statement, that's it, that's what I believe in, then guess what? Yeah, you're opening yourself up to criticism. That's what you're doing. Just letting you know. But then when you try to facilitate that mentality all the way down to the fan bases. It's no longer just your opinion or you're just your statement. Now you're making it bigger than what it is. And it seems like you can't handle that. That's a problem. I advise that this needs to be cleaned up. I've said this before, it needs to be cleaned up. I told you, all these old guys, it's time for them to go. All right? It's time for the young guys to move in, but you have to make sure you pick the right guys. And it seems like no one's taking that seriously. When you've got people spread on Twitter, you got people pushed on websites, babe of the day. When there's guys like me, there's guys like other people in this Philly fan base, or even on YouTube in general, guys who do podcasts, stuff like that, that deserve a better shake at this. And girls as well. Ladies, don't think I forgot you. There's some of them that can do it too. You deserve a better shake than this. A fair shake, I should say. Clean it up. I'm telling you. And if anyone who thinks that this is big now, oh, no, 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 understand. This is just a warning shot. Because anybody, you know how I do my videos. If I start digging, you know there's going to be problems. I'll expose all of you if I have to. But it depends on why the fan bases think this is okay. So sports fan bases, Philly fan bases, here's a question for you. Why aren't you demanding better?